Hi, Nicole here, and welcome to another video. I'm excited about this one. I have collected and curated the top 10 items under $25 that I use all the time in my business, um, whether it's photography, video as well, but I'm so excited to show you all the gear. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna go from the least dollar amount to the most expensive that's under the $25 mark. And many of these items, everything is listed below, but I have been using many of these items for over 10 years since when I started photography. So some of the items listed below are the latest models of some of the items that we'll be going through today. All right, let's get started. Number one. So we have bongo cords and this is actually a new thing to my kit, but I love that they're rubberized. So it's great to wrap up cords, just like this tether cord that we're gonna get to. But as a photographer, videographer, we have so much gear and cord management is always a thing that's part of our lives. So these bungee cords are great because they have that rubberized material. You can either wrap it around an item and then toggle it like this, or you can simply, this is my charger for my flashpoint light, just slip it over and the cords will maintain their shape and you're ready to go. So very easy, love that. In the same category with cord management, these are items, they're adjustable that I've been using since the beginning. So these are also very helpful. So simply you would put this over the cords, depending on the type of cord, and then you could just squeeze it shut. So depending on what you need to manage, you have two opportunities, two possibilities to research and look for. Okay, that's item number one, cord management, these bongo cords or the adjustable cords. Item number two, we have a lot of batteries and this is an item that I've had since the beginning, 10 plus years. I love that it's a bright color. So then if I need batteries fast, now I'm using um, like the AA batteries for speed lights and all the things that we have batteries for, so especially this holds double, double A and triple A, which is nice. But because it's a bright color, I know I can identify it quickly in my bag and grab it and go. So definitely a must have. All right, item number three is my tether cord. And there's a lot of tether cords out there. This one happens to be under, under the $25 mark, which is great. And I use that bongo cord to keep it nice and tight when I'm not using it and I don't have cords everywhere. But the tether cord, this is what I use to tether to my laptop from my Canon 5D Mark IV, works great. Okay, here we go. I have bungee cords. Now, why would bungee cords be part of my kit? I use a multi-cart a lot for big, large kits when I have a big photo shoot. And, and using bungee cords to secure everything down helps a ton. S items in my studio, if I need to secure them, um, this is also a great solution. Now, this kit that I outlined below, this is what you get. So there's all different sizes based on your needs. So there's yellow ones, those are my longest ones. Those I use a ton for the multi-cart, but then you have smaller ones in here um, and you can really find a reason and a use. And once you have that gear secure, when you're rolling it into um, a set, you don't have to worry about things falling over and falling apart. So I've used these a lot for um, various reasons throughout either in my studio or when I'm out on location. Bungee cords, all right. The next is Analoop batteries. I've had some of these since the beginning. These are rechargeable Analoop batteries. 
and these have been great every time I need to purchase more AA batteries if I need to. These are where um, I typically go to. Again, outline down below for more research for you, but these are great. Okay, another thing for organization, whether in the studio or when you're going out on location, is the Pelican 1050. Now, here are some features that I love. One, it's clear top, so when I'm looking for items, I can quickly identify the items that are inside, time saver. The other great thing is they come in different colors. So I also have the red one, and I always house like my lapel mic, my Rode wireless system, um, mic system in the red case. So I always know when I need to get that item, go to the red case. They're hard um, body, so they're gonna protect the gear that's inside. So maybe you're traveling and um, many times when I travel and have to fly, I would put my I'd put my portable drive in here with the cord. Maybe the mouse might fit in here for my laptop. So I know everything is protected. This is a great pickup. Okay, so for the next item, it's my case for my memory cards. Now, again, this is an item I've had since the beginning, so over 10 years. So there's definitely some big improvements, lots of options out there, but I've outlined this one. I like that it held multiple formats. So I might have a compact flash on top, but you can see I can use the other card down below. So this has been great and um, highly recommend having this and keeping that secure and not losing cards along the way. All right, then we have this Think Tank miscellaneous cord bag. Now I use this, as you can see, I have my business cards out here. I have my cleaning kit. I will have my memory cards in here as well. And then as you can see, there are my batteries. So I'll keep them in here. A feature that I love about this bag is that it has the clear front here. Um, and you can see the items that you need, grab and go. There's a newer one out that I've linked below. It still has a clear view here. I believe it's not clear on the back, but still having that visibility in the front is great. Again, had this since over 10 years and it's been working out awesome. All right, so two more to go. Now, this is a organizational thing when you're at home in your studio. I love the clear shoe box. I use this throughout my house, not just in my studio or photo gear. And what I love about it, A, it's clear. So when I need to grab batteries to go charge for a shoot, I know exactly where to go. It also, it isn't super deep. So you're not going to create a junk drawer. You're gonna know exactly what you need, grab and go. The other great thing is that, let me grab it, is that, was got that in the face. <laughs> it's stackable. So actually, let me put these down below. So I like to go maybe three high. If you're in, I've had this like in a closet. Um, it, it could go on a shelf. But now you have your the drawers that will open. I have one drawer that's dedicated to all my batteries and charging. So I know exactly where to go every time I need a battery. You can have one for all different cords in here. Again, here's that adjustable um, cord we were talking about. And then this one has the bongo cord. So it keeps it very nice and neat. And the bottom one has like GoPro accessories and it's all stacked up and you can organize it by all the different gear that we somehow accumulate over, <laughs> over time. Okay, so I love these, highly recommend. Um, the link is below to get something like this. Okay, so for my last item, I use this on a weekly basis. And as of this recording, it was on sale at 27. I know this is a 25 and below, but I love this 
piece of equipment so much that I wanted to add it. So hopefully um, you can find it out there too. But this is the Joby accessory and it's for your iPhone. And it attaches to any sort of uh, tripod, mini tripod. It could be the Joby tripod. It doesn't have to be the Joby tripod. I use this all the time. I set it up if I'm making um, videos for stories or Instagram or Facebook. And one of the features that I love is that once you have your phone locked in and attached to the tripod and you want to change the orientation, like let's say you're doing this for um, stories and reels. If I wanted to change the orientation, you can do that without having to, you know, unmount it from the tripod and then you can turn it horizontal to do a quick video on the fly wherever you might be. So this is something I use all the time. I'm so excited to share it with you. Um, and that's the Joby accessory for your iPhone. Okay, so those are my 10 pieces of gear under $25 that I have been using either from the beginning, 10 plus years. I've accumulated some new things in the past couple of years that I wanted to share. Everything is outlined down below, but if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you next time. Bye.